Hello everyone, this is Wes James here, and today I'm bringing to you another Premiere Pro cool effect. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to do an effect that is used a lot, but take it up to another level. We've all seen that it's possible to place video inside of text. Well, we're going to be placing multiple videos inside of text using nothing more than Premiere Pro's title tool and the track mat key. Here's a preview of what we'll be doing today. I would first like to thank Best Pro Action for inspiring me to create this through his excellent quick tips and showing me the potential of Premiere Pro's title tool. Check out his page by going to this link below. Also, for today's tutorial, I'll be using Final Cut Pro 7 shortcuts that Premiere Pro supplied with some modifications from my own personal workflow. If you have any questions, please comment or send me a message on YouTube or Vimeo to let me know if I could help you in any way. Let's get started. First, let's create our text. Go to the project browser and click on the new item button. Select title. Name it whatever you want and press OK. Let's type our letter with an Arial Black font. I used this font because it was bold, but you can choose whatever font works for you. Let's adjust the size of the text from somewhere between 640 and 650. Position the letter using the horizontal and vertical center distribution options on the left hand side. If you have to, use the X and Y position as in the title property to adjust it manually. After you've adjusted the position of your letter and also its size, close the window to save the changes. In the project browser, select the title that you just created and hit the keyboard shortcut option D or the default Premiere Pro shortcut to duplicate it. We should name this title Letter Outline. Double click the new duplicated title to bring it into the title tool. Select the type tool and highlight your letter. Change the fill type from solid to ghost. Click on the add for the outer strokes parameter. Change the color from either black to white. In my case, I'm going to change it to white. Click on the checkbox for drop shadow. Change the distance from 10 to 17. If you have to, Increase the opacity from 50 to about 75. After you've done that, close out the window to save the changes. Let's place the W text layer on track 3 and the W text outline layer on track 1. Insert a video clip on track 2. Adjust the length of your clip to match the length of your text layers. Go to your effects browser and type track mat. Select the track mat key from the keying folder and apply it to the video clip on track 2. Go to the effects controls panel and change the mat from none to video track 3. Now, we've placed our video inside the letter with a stroke and a drop shadow. Select the text layers and your video clip. Hit the keyboard shortcut Option C or the default Premiere Pro shortcut to nest items. Go to your project browser. Change the nested sequence name from nested sequence whatever number to the letter W. For the next two letters, which are E and S, I'm going to repeat the exact same steps to get the results that I have now, so I'll be back with you in just a few. I'm back, and I have all my letters available at once. Right now, it doesn't look too pretty, but we're going to fix it in just a second. 
First, let's adjust the scale of these letter sequences to 75. After we've done that, let's begin positioning them so that we can spell out the word that we want. Once you've done that, select the three letter sequences and nest them by pressing Option C or the default Premiere Pro shortcut. Go to your project browser and name the new nested sequence Main Letter Animation. Select the Main Letter Animation sequence, go to the Motion tab and twirl it down. Let's adjust the scale to somewhere between 120 and 130. Adjust the position in the Y so that it's between the top and bottom of the title safe border. Let's set some position keyframes for the X parameter. Go to the beginning of your main letter animation sequence and set a keyframe at the beginning. Move to about the out point of your main letter animation sequence and set another keyframe. Go back to the first keyframe and move the main letter animation sequence completely off screen to the right. Go to the second keyframe and move your animation sequence completely off screen to the left. Now if we scrub through, we'll see that we have our letter moving from the right side all the way to the left side off screen in one fluid motion. Let's change the keyframe interpolation of our two keyframes. For the first keyframe, let's change the interpolation to ease in. Go to your second keyframe and change the interpolation from normal to ease out. We now have our animation. Let's add a background so our drop shadow is more visible. Move the main letter animation sequence to track 2. Place a motion graphics background on track 1. Alright, let's match the length of our motion graphics background to our main letter sequence. I'm going to use one of the new editing keyboard shortcut commands in Premiere Pro CS 5.5 called Trim Edit to Playhead. My keyboard shortcut is Shift E. So move the playhead to the out point of your main letter sequence and if you have if you customize your keyboard and set it to this on trim edit to playhead, hit shift E to trim it, and it'll match the length. We have everything in place now, so let's render this. Make any last minute adjustments on the position or scale of your main letter animation sequence if you have to before you render, so you don't have to render multiple times. I'll be back with you in just a sec. And we're back. After the render, I set an in and out point for the length of our animation. Let's hit shift forward slash or the default Premiere Pro keyboard shortcut to play from in to out and see what we got. And there you go. Multiple videos inside of text. This effect is something I've been trying to figure out for a while, as I've been asked about this effect numerous times and can only tell people to track multiple videos to one text layer. I figured that if I split the letters up, it would be easier to work with having a text layer that is solid and one that is outlined, stroked, and has a transparent fill. Once I realized that this could work, I felt that I had to share it with everyone. Try this out in your next project and send me a response seeing how it works for you. For my next tutorial, I'm going to take an effect that was meant for After Effects and do it completely in Premiere Pro. It is the Allegra Allergy Page Peel effect. If you've ever seen the commercials, you'll know what I'm talking about. It was inspired by the awesome book, Plug Into After Effects, by Michelle Yamazaki at ToolFarm.com. Pick up a copy at Amazon or ToolFarm or, or wherever books are sold. Until then, stay creative.